Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Abaddon the Black Fortress. When we left off last time, we've been in the Jareth Deeps. There is a trapdoor that I still cannot figure out. It's on the map, but I don't see it anywhere like when I'm in the area where my mini map says it should be, and I can't figure out how to open it. I checked every other trapdoor that we found on the map. They're all places that we've been. They don't lead to it, so it's niggling at me, but I don't know what to do with it at the moment. So for now, we're just going to proceed. We're going to talk to Zathrin. Let him know. We took care of his ogre problem. There was actually a titan involved as well. I wonder what he's going to have to say about that. Hmm, what do we got here? Oh, stuff that belongs to somebody. These guards, most likely. Well, moving on. Hey there, cow. Is there anyone we want to talk to? Mostly we just want to talk to Zathrin, but in case we pass anyone interesting. Fix that fence. Need more help. You're just a worker. Or no. Keeper. Keeper Island. Let's see if there's anything new that this fellow's got to say. Alright, and... Oh, hey, yeah. I got rid of your fire lizards. Thought I'd been hearing less screaming. I'm happy that it was not my imagination. He fetches a pouch of coins and a fine cloak of drake skin. Here's a bit of genuine dragon tribute set aside to hire aid for us. I thank you. Perhaps if you visit me later, I can offer a new bounty. Oh, indeed. Uh, is there anything else that you need killed? He inspects you and thinks about it. I would not have Avedon thinking I delivered one of their hands to an untimely death. Perhaps return when you have more experience. Don't do that to me, buddy. I am, I am ready to take it on. Ugh. All right. Well, let's have a look at what you gave me. This Drake skin I've just had hanging out forever in my inventory. He claims he gave me. Oh, oh, there it is. Drake skin mantle. Hmm, fire resistance. Natalie, what does yours do? Hmm, it increases your magical damage. You're keeping it on. Sev, what have you got going on? Better melee damage. Do I really want the plus one to dex? Or do I want to resist fire? It's worth more than what I have. So I take that to mean that fire 15% fire resistance is better than plus one dex? I don't know. It seems like plus one to a stat would be more powerful. But I'm really bad at telling these kinds of things. We're just going to go with what I've got on. And then I know I can't get in here, but every time I see it, I just... It bothers me to have these unfilled parts on my map. Mmm. I really want in there. That one we can't get in either. We checked. Just leave it alone. Alright, let's just find Zathrin. He's amidst the lava. This room. Over here. All right. So, Zathrin is still curled up on his spire, basking in the heat and gnawing idly on cow bones. Although he seems relaxed, you can sense his power and see the tension in his muscles. It's never wise to lower one's guard around such a creature. All right. What I need from you is um, a couple things. So, first off, found a new dragon in the area. Her name's Zathrin. Dragon romance, maybe? So I have learned. I must contact her. Though it means a challenge, and... He thinks. I have asked Thara to deal with this. You should speak with her. What What needs dealing with? Is this some kind of dragon culture thing that I don't understand? Like, she's not actually with impact lands. She's not on your territory, so... What does it really matter if she's kind of in the area? Yeah, perhaps it's some dragon formality. Um, okay. I also... Found all those ogres, and I destroyed them. Zathrin nods solemnly, but lavish rewards don't seem to be forthcoming. Bomber. Once again, the pact has given me what I am owed, but far too late. Once again, I have no choice but to forgive the lapse. Okay, I... I mean, he's got kind of a point. The ogres made it all the way into this area, and if the deal is we keep this kind of stuff away from them... Also a reward. You've proved yourself to be able. I will remember you. 
When I need help, I will be sure to ask for you personally. This doesn't sound as great as Zethrin thinks it is. I don't know. I do think it's kind of... I'm one of those odd folks. I'm... This reward kind of appeals to me. He's a prickly customer, but even though he's very exacting and picky and difficult, we managed to make him happy. We've impressed him. So he's going to ask for us by name, and it's going to mean extra work, and it's kind of a pain in the butt, but also I think there's a bit of prestige to that. We can feel kind of proud of that. We impressed a freaking dragon. All right. Ooh. Can you weigh in on the Wayfarer? Yeah, someone who called himself the Wayfarer contacted me. Again, he keeps popping up. What's your thoughts on this? When I told Miranda, she was just like, oh, yeah, it'll happen. You describe him to the dragon. He doesn't seem interested. That's human business. Not important to me. Bummer. It was a long shot. Okay, um, the, so the ogres... I mean, should we really tell him all of this business that we should probably be reporting to Abaddon? We're gonna encase it... I don't know, it might not be wise, but what if he knows more information? If, I don't know, maybe this will jog something in his memory, something he knows about, help him connect a piece of the puzzle, and it'll be helpful and give us more information to give to Avidon. We're going to try it. I mean, he is our ally, so... The ogres were being led by a human. Who is dead, yes? Uh, indeed, yes, you confirmed this. That does not surprise me. That matches what has been happening. I see that now. An odd thing to say, but the dragon doesn't elaborate. I don't, it doesn't seem that odd, given what we've seen. Forces that are normally kind of a disorganized rabble, and it seems by their nature that wretches are usually disorganized and the ogres are usually disorganized. They've always been that way. Suddenly they're becoming more organized. Uh, it seems unlikely that suddenly, like, some sort of wretch with great organization skills and an ogre with great organization skills were suddenly born and are mobilizing the troops. It's, it does seem more likely that there's some sort of human enemy of the pact orchestrating it. It makes sense. Hmm. So him not telling me more about it doesn't mean that he's thinking of betraying the pact. It could just mean that I mean, I, in his eyes, I'm an underling. I am. He deals with the, the higher-ups in the pact, and if something needs to be done, they send their underlings to do it. But I'm just a, a bit of a respected underling. Okay, I think I'm good. Then I dismiss you. I will return to enjoying a tranquil existence, for as long as it lasts. Sounds good. Alright, well, that's some things done. Uh, let's try going to Gold Crag and see if we have enough blue ore. And if we don't, I mean, we hit all of the blue ore that I think we could find, so it seems like we should be fine. Where's the closest exit? Yeah, all the way, there's the, only the one, huh? We have two wretch cities now that I haven't gone into. There's the one out in the Kva, and then there's the other that we found in the Jareth Deeps. And I'd rather not fight them. But I wonder if I should be more concerned about that. The one in the Kva... I mean, debatably, I might should do something about that. They are impact lands. But we were able to broker a peace between them and the farmer, and they said they're not going to steal and stuff, so... I'm not doing my, my duty to Abaddon by leaving them there. I'm really not. But if they're not hurting anyone, I'm kind of inclined to... I don't know. I'm second-guessing that decision now. What if the whoever is causing all this other trouble with the other wretches and ogres contacts that one, and then there's a base in the Kvalands that a Hand of Avedon knows about but has chosen to overlook, and they start striking out at the people of the Pact from there? I mean, I'm being kind of a stickler for the rules in other instances... It's pretty hypocritical of me to just leave those wretches be. Mm, I gotta mull over that one a little more. Let's go to Gold Crag for now. Okay. So we want to go to Barrack. He's over here.
The wretches in the in the um the far lands I'm gonna leave alone because it's not Qua land and they're just being rich wretches minding their own business it's I don't know it's kind of nasty of me to go in there and try and mess around with them that's their lands but I really have to think about what I do want to do about the ones in the Kva. okay Beric I have found a lot of that blue ore he inspects the ore eagerly he takes the sack and conceals it in his storeroom he looks almost giddy with excitement Soon I can try the new techniques for myself. Maybe I can improve the blades of the kfa. That would... I'm sorry, that's not important to you. Here. He brings you a pouch of coins and a pair of plate boots. These are the finest boots I've ever made. I want you to have them. Well, thank you. Um, I also have some things I'd like to sell to you. You can have all that. Probably some other stuff, too. Where's these boots you just gave me? I'd like to get a look at those. Stomping boots! I love their name. Armor 10% and 1% to melee damage. Hmm, Sev, you might want that. We will take a look. Uh, what do you sell, by the way? Fine chain mail. What does, I want to compare what Sev has. Shopping for Sevlin. His is armor 26 and it gives him an additional endurance. Yeah, I think we want to keep what he's, I think I've looked at this stuff before and none of it was that exciting. Yeah. I think we are good. Is there anything else I can do for you? He shakes his head. I very much doubt it. My work with the Blue War has begun, but there's one other thing that could help me. The ceremonial club of a titan. One with a head of steel, not bone or wood. I would pay well for such a treasure, but I think that finding one would be impossible. Why is it impossible? Because there are no titans near here. And if there were, well, you would have to get the club from the titans, and they would kill any who tried to steal one. Fair point. Um, what do you want to do with one? Because titans, crude as they are, have their own ways of working steel. They need to be very skilled to make weapons usable by one of their size and strength. Their ceremonial clubs are only made by the most talented of their smiths. I think if I had one, I could learn much about steelworking. Huh. Alright, well that's interesting. Um, I mean, we found a titan. We fought it. I would not be surprised if in future we come across more, so I will keep an eye out for you. All right. And we are knocking out the quest. I love it. Uh, we have not found Nere the Smuggler. That is very disappointing. That is very disappointing. How am I going to find her? All right. Oh, no, we're not going to kill the assassin. Hmm... Oh, Ryozo was in Zethrin's area. So I could find these papers, but I don't think I'm even going to look. I'm not even going to look. I think those papers are probably planted. I don't know. This this Wayfarer just rubs me the wrong way. Not doing it. The Tardum thing was just dealing with Nere. All right. So what do we want to do now? I kind of want... Do I want to do it? Do I want to go talk to Tartum again and get an idea about what to... Yeah, I want an idea about how to find Nere. I really want to find her. I was thinking that we were going to find her in the Jareth Deeps. Perhaps in that trap door that I can't access. Because we hadn't found her anywhere else. Um, I thought all he said was she's in the chair of deep Stetney. We're going to double check with him. He is in the Kvalans. And he's... Tartum. Over here. Go there. Start moving there, team. Is this where he is? No. North of here. Um, right there. Here. I know we talked to him before, but it's been a while, so I want to take a look at what exactly what he says again.
All right, tell me about an array. Okay, so what are you doing? We know someone's selling the, the weapons. I would like to help. Okay, smuggler named Marae. Meet her if you travel south. If you do it and can find proof that she is helping the wretches, she should be brought to justice. Okay. And what makes you think she's responsible? We, we talked to this. How should I bring her to justice? All right. So all he says is that she's to the south. And so I assumed Cherith Deeps, I think, just because I didn't find her anywhere else. So south, I mean, this is kind of south of where he is now. But these weren't the wretches we were having the problem with, right? Okay, if we look south, the Jareth Deeps is definitely south. I want to get to our big map. Oh, maybe I'm going to have to go into the wretch camp. But south, the wretch warrens are also... But I went all through that, didn't I? I don't know. Considering there was a gigantic chunk that I missed of um, when we were in Camaria. Did I actually hit everything here? It looks like there's bits here I've not been to, but... Let's see. This looks like we've been through all of it. This doesn't, but there's water in the way. On Gorris Hall, we went through all that. I mean, I don't know. It's looking like we pretty much did all this. Oh, these guys left, yep. Oh, hey! How did I miss all of this before? That's irresponsible. Okay, that's just going out. Is there a way over the river? Because it, yeah, it looks like I should be able to get there. It definitely does look like I should be able to get there. So perhaps there's something that I have missed? How do we think we're going to access it? Did we find any underground bits anywhere? Trap doors or whatever. There's Angora's Hall, but... It's just all zoning out. Well. Alright. To tackle that, I think what I'll do is maybe off screen I will exhaustively go through all the zones I've been through again. See if there's something I missed in the Kufa, anything I missed here, anything I missed in the Jareth Deeps. But it's going to be a lot of me just taking my time walking over places we've already been. So, um... We'll save that for later. For now, let's go back to Avedon. We did what we needed to do out here. Let's report to Miranda. Tell her what we got. I wonder if she's just going to send us right back to Camaria. I don't know. We went to Gold Craig, went to Camaria, back to Gold Craig. Yeah. Could go there again. Or is she going to send us somewhere new? That'd be kind of exciting. So, to Avedon.
And Miranda, where are you? Over here. So, right up this way. Oh, greetings, Polis. Ooh, Polis stands unobtrusively off to the side. He seems calm and non-threatening, and yet he's ready to spring into action the moment you need something. Then he says, quietly, Lavinia, I was given a message of some importance when you have the time. Um, what message, Polis? Janelle came to see me. She told me that she had to depart. She went to... to Camaria, I believe. She was in a hurry, but if you wanted to help her, you were welcome. Janelle... If this is about those freaking toll roads and how you cannot just get over it. <sighs> Where'd she go? I'm sorry, I do not know. But she said that she left some notes in her quarters. Great. And where are her quarters again? They're around here. They're in the chambers below the dining hall. Okay. Uh, do you know why she went to Camaria? She did not say. She's probably looking for those rebels that are hiding out there. She only said that you should look in her quarters. Do you need anything else? Um, uh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Alright, so we will check into it, because if it is that group that ran away that is breaking Abaddon's law, um, I am going to bring justice, Abaddon's justice to them. Janelle's not going to like it. Okay, Miranda. Miranda looks up at you from her desk. I'm always available to help hands who are about to go out in harm's way. What do you need? She smiles faintly. She seems an oasis of calm in this unsettled place. Okay, so I have hunted down the ogres to Zethrin's satisfaction. You describe the battle against the ogres. So the reptile is content, for now. I hope its ego has been satisfied by our efforts on its behalf. Not that a dragon is ever content. Is there anything else you wish to tell me about events in the Kva? Ah, uh, yes, I wish to tell you about all of it. A uh, dragon named Zephyrine was protecting the ogres. However, as soon as she realized that Abaddon was looking into things, she renounced ties to them. Zephyrine, Zephyrine, sounds familiar. She consults a list of dragons. Ah, uh, yes. A pest has shown signs of great disloyalty in the past. To be honest, I would not be unhappy if that creature were dispatched. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go fight a dragon for you. She said, well, she said she wanted to help Avedon, but then she also kept trying to cloud my mind with magic, so. I'm going to let Zathrin handle her. She's not actually in pack territory. She was aiding people who are a threat to the pack, but she, as soon as I got there, she she seemed helpful, didn't didn't stand in my way at any rate, so, eh. I'll let that one be for now. Not that I would send a hand to do the deed. I don't need any dead hands on my conscience. Huh? Alright, so um, the ogres were led by a titan. I did take that titan down. But of course, it must be why they were so organized. Honestly, that titan was working alone. Well, hopefully that, sorry, I'm looking at the next line. Hopefully that titan was working alone. Um, he wasn't. But honestly, I would not be surprised if I had to send a group of more experienced hands to Kva sometime soon. What, we're not going to tell her about Merla? Come on. Uh, yeah, I guess I have nothing else to report. Then you will be pleased to know that you're about to receive a true honor. Redbeard wishes to see you. Yes, I've told the Keeper of your successes, and he may have a task for you. The absence of the other hands is a stroke of luck for you. You may be rising very quickly in the hierarchy of Avedon. What, nobody else has returned? Many of them have been out on many missions. There's an unusual amount of tumult. There have been losses. Not your concern. They will be replaced very soon. But enough talk. Redbeard is waiting for you. She waves you off. Alright, well, time to go talk to the boss then. I'm going to be careful not to anger him this time. Um, Redbeard's chambers north of where we're at. All right, hey there, Redbeard. You return to Redbeard's chamber. He seems pleased to see you, even eager. He sits on the edge of his chair, his enthusiasm palpable. Yes, the new hand. Come here. You are receiving a true opportunity. One of the older hands would kill for. One the older hands would kill for. I have a mission of true importance for you. You're going to Calendariel, near the Barraza Woods. Yeah? Uh, why have I been selected? He laughs. Why lie? More experienced hands are out in the wilds, dealing with the limitless problems that face us. I need to use the most promising hand available for the task, which is, I'm afraid, you. Alright, so what's so important about this mission? Because it deals with the entire future of the Pact, with bringing peace and tranquility where there's been none for a century. 
Since the Black Age, Hulklanda and Calendariel have, frankly, hated each other, and it is this dispute over the Barraza Woods that has kept this hatred alive. So, do they actually fight each other? Anyone who tries to cause trouble there attracts the gaze of Abaddon. Keeping the peace between the two has been a huge amount of my work for the last fifty years, and I will take any chance to reconcile the two. And all for the sake of one miserable and useless patch of forest. All right, tell me about this miserable, useless patch of forest. There's little to tell. A patch of woods near the Tawan Empire. Both Hulklanda and Calendariel claim it. When the peace at the end of the Black Age was declared, it was given to neither of them. Brilliant diplomacy, that. Since neither can send their forces into it without enraging the other, it is under controlled territory, full of brigands and similar pests. So much strife over so little. I mean, that does suck. If he could just give it to one or the other of them, or divide it, then they could properly patrol it and keep the pests out. But instead... All right, uh, I have another question? Redbeard says, Yes? Do you need to know anything else? Speak quickly. I need you in Calendarial as soon as possible. What do you wish of me? There are signs that Hulklanda is willing to begin working with Calendarial to decide what will happen to the Barraza Woods. Hulklanda has sent warriors to Castle Vabo. You are to go there to be Avedon's eyes and to do what you can to bring peace between the two. Redbeard takes your sapphire symbol and replaces it with one with a pearl hanging from a gold chain. That will allow you to reach the portal to Castle Vabo. Current chaos be damned, we can't let an opportunity pass to bring peace between the powers of the pact. No, I'm, I'm with you on that. I mean, we got a lot of other things going on, but if we can take care of something that's been a problem for 50 years, or more, 50 years he's been dealing with it, um, yeah, let's settle this. One less thing to worry about. Uh, why are they working together now? Neither Hulklanda nor Calendariel can send soldiers into the Barraza Woods without enraging the other side. As a result, the place is a haven for thugs and spies. I believe it has become such a problem that neither of them can tolerate it anymore. Well, I mean, that's what they get for this stupid feud in the first place, right? So, tell me about this castle I'm going to. It is a keep at the west edge of Calendariel, overlooking the Barraza Woods. It is commanded by Duke Griffin, a young but promising power in the east. All right, and specifically, what do I need to do? I know you said be Evidence eyes, but beyond that? Go to Castle Vibo. The portal to there is east of the library. Speak with Lord Griffin. Meet with the emissaries from Hulklanda. Be my eyes, and do whatever you can to help the two forces fight the brigands in the, of the Barraza Woods. Perhaps if the two sides can work together, this can lead to settling this issue. This is a great opportunity. Do not disappoint me. All right. I'm on it. Excellent. But before we do that, I do kind of want to check into whatever is going on. Oh, she says she's going to leave soon. Her brother is avenged. Yeah, the creature hunting your people has been destroyed. Thorella nods, grinning broadly. I've heard. You were victorious. My brother was avenged. I will spend my life telling all who will listen of the mercy and strength of Avedon. All right. Well, I am glad that that ended well. Hey, Lord Svarl, how's it going? Did you want me to do anything else? Lord Svarl nods eagerly. Is good. Wretches and Avedon working together. Natural allies. I get message from High Lord Deathskull. You and Jareth Deeps, yes? Yes. Bad place for my clan. That's where Hegra clan is. Long-time enemies. Want to see them on stakes. Impaling, I mean. Get our vengeance. Slay leader of Hegra clan. For that, get valuable things we found. And treasure of Hegra clan. Much treasure. Why is this good for the Pact? Because they're out in the Far Lands. They are, that is the Hegra is the group that we found in the Jareth Deeps that I said I was going to leave alone. You do this, there are less wretches. What makes you humans happier than less wretches? He smiles bitterly and crunches a bit of femur between his teeth. Aw, oh, dude, that's really sad. I don't... What would make us happy is if you guys weren't a threat to us. Okay, uh, why should I get involved in this dispute? For pay! We pay! What better reason to do anything? <sighs> and... <laughs> How do I find them? Go to Jareth Deeps. They try to rob you soon enough. Oh my... Okay, I think, yeah, I don't know that we want to do that. Yeah, a gruesome bit of assassination, of course, but it's just wretches, so nobody will be concerned. Well, I'm concerned, though. What rights do I really have to go into the Far Lands and kill? I mean, it's, it's Far Lands. It's not Pact territory. I serve the Pact. It's not my business what happens in the Far Lands. You guys aren't officially part of the pact. 
I don't actually, I mean, I don't want to leave you you hanging and not help you at all, but at the same time, I don't want to possibly stir up trouble if there's something that I don't really understand all the details of, because I don't really know that much about wretch society. I don't think I'm going to do it. Okay, so, Janelle, we need to go to her room, and it's under the dining room, so we do need to go to the stairs down, which are over here. Also, we should probably just check in with random people. Hang on, hang on. Shima, how's it going? Alright, Shima Three Spear is sitting at his customary table, and as usual, he's alone. He slowly sips a meal. You've not seen him drink before. Then he looks up at you. You can see in his eyes that he's agitated. Welcome, Lavinia. Please join me. I welcome the company, and I... I need to speak with you. Hmm. Alright, we'll go into this gradually. How's the ale? It is unfamiliar. Any sort of spirit leaves me with a splitting headache, and yet here you are drinking. Any such revelry is repaid with a greater rate of pain, and yet, at times I feel the need. Yeah, you seem pretty... What's what's wrong, buddy? This is, this is what I need to speak with you about. Okay, um, what do you need to tell me? I'm ready. Our work is taking us to Hulklanda, to my land. It means that I must speak with you so that we're both prepared. Okay, so, I mean, out with it, buddy. What do you want to tell me? I am of the Three Spear Clan, once proud, then very recently brought low by the treachery of another clan, the Honored Forge. You do not need to ask me about my clan and its history, but you may wish to. It's good to understand. Uh, I do want to know. So, you're from Hoklanda, huh? He nods slowly. I am. I've only been a warrior of Avedon for three years. Well... Tell me about Hoklanda. It is not like Avedon. Not like any land in Linnaeus. It is very... He looks out at the boisterous activity of the dining hall. Very ordered, quiet and calm on the surface. It is as violent and torn as every other land in Linnaeus, but in a much more dignified way. Oh, the rest of us are undignified, huh? All right, all right. So is Hulklanda content as part of the pact? Of course. As proud as we are, we know that we are safest from the warriors of Cameria and the Tawan Empire when we band with others. We have our rivalries, and we and Calumdariel have spilled much of each other's blood but we still are wise enough to know that the pact means survival. Thus, I'm here fighting for it. Alright, that makes sense. So then, um... Do you learn much from the people passing through? Oh, this is new text. Shima Three Spear is sitting at his customary seat in the dining hall, watching with interest those who come and go. He talks with all who are not frightened by his odd regalia. You sit with him for a time. He's silent, though you sense that he's eager to speak with you. Alright, so all these people you're talking to, you learn from them? Of course. Most choose not to speak with me, but from those who do, I absorb every bit of knowledge I can about the lands of Linnaeus, about the pact and the far lands. Some people don't speak with you? Why is that? Shadow walkers are feared, and it is wise to do so. As with Abaddon, the attention of a shadow walker can be fatal. And yet some, once they sense that I'm not currently tasked to kill them, are interested in to actually meet one of my kind. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, what, sorts of bit, uh, what sorts of bits of knowledge do you look for? Scraps of language, of etiquette, of knowing when to speak and when to nod and speak and be silent. The sort of details that can mean the difference between discovery and concealment when spying in the Far Lands. Alright. And a lot of people are afraid of you, eh? Yes, Shadow Walkers are spies and assassins. That holds a natural terror for most. Understandably, perhaps. Um, well, why would he be ashamed to be a spy and assassin? But let's say it and see what he says. Whoops, crap, I clicked it too fast. He said no. Um, alright. We already did all this. Da 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 da. Okay, we're gonna hit that again. They fear you. There. No? Are you? No, are you? We're both warriors of Avedon. Spying and killing are our most frequent work. I wish to discuss something else. Yeah, he's got a fair point there. Alright. I'm gonna go. He nods. I will await your call. He returns to his meal. Oh, it was an interesting conversation, Shima. Do, 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 do. Let's go find Janelle's room. I am keeping to myself. Hmm. Do we have anything new to say? Envoy Brasilis sits and sips her wine. The diplomat from the Tawan Empire makes everything around her, even the splendor of Avedon, seem a bit shabby by her mere presence. She gives a tiny and enigmatic half-smile. What else do you need, warrior of the pact? Can I speak to you? 
Ah, oh, she would like to speak with me as well. We have the Tawan Empire. I always want to deal with Abaddon. However, at this point, I only have work for you if you travel to the Baraza Woods. Um, I'm going there, actually. She sets down her scroll. Her interest peaked. Indeed. Well, I may have work for you. The Tawan Empire may be old and weak, but some wealth remains in our dusty vaults. Tell me about the Tawan Empire. Well, if you would like to learn more, there's a book on it in my quarters. I'm sure some of Abaddon's agents have already been in there. She winks. Uh-huh. But what to add? We are an old power, dusty and tired, held down under the boot of those we once ruled. You're packed, young and energetic. Hmm. You don't seem so bitter about it. Why should I be? Empires rise and fall. Avedon was built, and one day it will crumble. The pact is young, and our empire is old. That age has given us a certain perspective. So, you guys used to rule over us, eh? The Tawan Empire used to rule most of Linnaeus. Thus the word empire. We grew old and complacent, and we lost those lands. But we have memories. And ambitions. Uh-huh. Gonna recapture that glory, eh? Ah, uh, what do you think of the pact? A young, energetic power. Very successful, and very full of itself. You come across as kind of full of yourselves, too, Tawan Empire. But you are only a century from a gruesome civil war, and your five nations are constantly at each other's throats. The Tawan Empire will outlast you. Yeah, very full of yourselves. You have no right to judge us, Farlander. I don't know. You might have a point. I think that we can get past our troubles. It could be fine, but I might give you. She nods. Of course. If more gain your wisdom and vision, you might have hope. But I do not think this will happen. Did you wish to discuss something else? So you come here to hire hands, eh? Even though you're not part of the pact? Of course. That makes it more important to hire your kind, not less. We do all we can to avoid the anger of Avedon. All right, and... What do you hire us to do? Anything that keeps your armies from attacking us. Assassinating malcontents, aiding us with the bureaucracies of the pact, a variety of small sorts of assistance. Many great old fortunes have been used to bribe the pact. And what would the pact do to the Tawan Empire? You have incredible power. Invasion and assassination, but more than that. Tariffs, shutting off our trade, seizing our ships, claiming pieces of land. The pact has devised many ways to torment us over the centuries. Uh-huh. But I'm not bitter. The wheel turns. Powers rise. And fall. Yeah, you keep driving that point home, that you're so sure that we're all going to fall. Okay. So, anyhow. Uh, what do you want me to do? It's a perfect job for a hand of Abaddon, paying you handsomely to do what you should already do. There's a pack of bandits in the Baraza Woods, led by a Daramite named Eudor. They've been raiding our lands. We want them to stop. We will pay very well if you get them to. Alright, why can't you kill them? Because they're on packed lands. Because if we sent any soldiers over the border in the pact, we would be savagely punished. And thus, we have to pay you. Mm -hmm. uh, why should Abaddon get involved in this? Apart from the payment, I will give you for success. Eudor is acting to disrupt the peace and aggravate the Empire. Stopping him is very much in the interest of Abaddon. She does have a point, and we are going there to take out the bandits anyhow, so... Yeah, so far I'm on board with this. Tell me more about these bandits. They hide in the Baraza Woods, land that the pact is unable to properly control. Okay, that... I kind of take issue with her phrasing there. Insulting the pact, getting her digs in where she can. Uh, we're working on controlling it, thanks. And even though we can't properly control it, hmm, Tao and Empire can't control it either. Thus they cross our borders, raid, and return with impunity. And, you know, have you considered Envoy Brasila that perhaps part of why we haven't done anything about these bandits thus far is because they're raiding you guys in the Far Lands instead of the Pact, and we don't really care if they're trouble for you guys? Possible. They think having those woods to hide in protects them. We'll prove them wrong. You will prove them wrong by paying me to actually take them out. Um, yeah, I think I'm up for this, though. I mean, we are going to go there, so... All right, good day to you. I'll do it. She heavily returns to her scroll. And to you, what civilization there is in Avedon, I will enjoy it. Yeah. But Avedon's full of itself. Okay, I, I think I'm totally into this. As long as nothing else comes up to make me doubt it. But thus far, it's sounding pretty good. Okay, whose chambers are these? This just looks like a bunch of garbage. Oh, is this... What's the sign say? Abby's chambers? Nope. This was... was this Prasala over here? No, Valna. Uh, uh, uh. I think this is Prasala. 
Yeah. And so... Where's Janelle's room? That's all I want down here. Maybe this one. That's marked. If not this one, perhaps one of these others. Should be good. Janelle! Okay. When you enter Janelle's chambers, your eyes are instantly drawn to the folded sheet of papyrus. You open it and, with some effort, read her sloppy handwriting. To Lavinia, I do not expect you to share my obsession with preserving the ways of my people, but I do hope you understand that I care for the beliefs of all the people of the Pact. I think they must be respected. I return to Camaria to find those of the Wild Realm that are lost there. It is dangerous for one of my people to go there alone. I will rely on the aura of Avedon to protect me. Should you follow and should I learn anything, I will leave word with Ronar Fayega of Dorlstad before I depart. She is worthy for a Camarian. Janelle. Janelle, you are massively betraying your duty to Avedon. I just gotta say. And those warriors that fled there, not on their side. Yes, I did just check in the boxes of one of my team members to see what goods she has. Nothing exciting. Still whispering over here, huh? Falna and Admis. You mean a tall, swarthy woman, well over six feet tall and heavily muscled. Oh, she quickly brushes past me. But you. Admis, you've been giving information to Falna. Admis drops the boot. He starts to shake uncontrollably. You give him a minute to control himself. I, I, I'm sorry. She, she threatened me, and... Oh, they can tell if I lie, can't they? I was weak. I'm sorry. Please don't turn me in. They'll kill me. I beg you. Um, dude, if you're giving information to our enemies, you're gonna have to answer. He looks down at the boots in his hands. I suppose I knew that this would happen. Please, don't keep me waiting long. I will not flee. We'll go to the dungeon. Unless, of course, you change your mind and decide to be merciful. You, did you work in Avedon? You work in the center of everything. You know how it is if you betray the pact. You, you know that. No, I don't have sympathy for you. You, you definitely should have known better. And if she was frightening you or something and bullying you, then you should have gone to somebody and turned her in. But that's not what you did. All right, let's find the stairs. All right, Miranda, there's been a bit of a situation. So let's talk about it. She's over here. I don't feel good turning him in, and I feel bad if they are going to kill him, but not bad enough to let him get away with it. All right, um, hmm. Do you have any orders for me? I would not dream of giving you orders. Not when Redbeard has need of you. Okay, okay. Um, I was gonna turn that guy in. So what? Do I need to go down to the dungeons? Which are... Where are the dungeons? To the dungeons. Over here. Also, I need to remember where Savalyn and Natalie are hanging out, because I'd like to just chat with them, too, to see what they have to say. All right, let's try talking to Mamora. Mm, no. Well, dang it, who do I need to talk to to turn him in? Uh, 
None of these are it. Redbeard? I don't really want to bug him. Let's just head here real quick. I don't think she's going to be the person, but we've not talked to Hand Callan in a bit. So, oh, she is the one. Okay, so, Hand Callan, I saw something suspicious in the quarters of Valna. You instantly have Callan's full attention. Really? What did you discover? Uh, she's been buying information from Adnes. And these had me as I remember. One of the stewards, shifty fellow, will make sure that he's swiftly punished for this treason. And as for Valna, she will be watched closely. However, she was only doing what envoys from the Farlands do. Such treachery is in their nature. Well, what, we're not going to like punish her as an example to others? She gives you a pouch of coins and a pat on the shoulder. Very well done. The spy will be made an example of. Excuse me. She walks off. I, don't, I can actually understand that, though. If you expect the envoys from the Outlands to try this kind of thing, you, maybe you don't want to necessarily punish her strictly to make her an example because then their envoys might not come at all. And it's probably better to actually have the envoys there to at least try to glean information from them than to have them not. Um, but you do need to be able to expect that all of your own employees of Avadon are not going to be selling out any of our information. Anything else we can do for you? You need more help? I'm sad to say that I do. I'm continuing the investigation of the troubles in the dungeons. A valuable prisoner, Shadow Tarkus, was lost. I want to give you access to the lower cells. I think that he may be there. Oh, really? Tell me about these lower cells. They were destroyed by an earthquake about 40 years ago and allowed to become a haven for mold and pests. And, I suspect, escapees from the dungeon. Search them and see if Tarkus is there. Then report to me what you've learned. Alright. Uh, where are the lower cells? Descend to the dungeons once again and go east. How can I enter them? You give me a key? She removes a key from her pouch, oh yeah, and hands it to you. This is quite a privilege. Most hands never get such access. Yes! Tell me about Tarkus. A truly valuable prisoner. A skilled infiltrator and spy who will do anything for a price, but he only works for the Farlands and against Avedon. Quite an eccentric. We were learning valuable things from his mind. But now he's gone and we want him back. We've been unable to find any signs of where he fled to, which makes me suspect that he's hiding right under our feet. Okay, that sounds pretty great. Um, yeah, I am totally up for this quest. Excellent. We have all kinds of things to do now. Wonderful. Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. As always, please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back and next time. We have some decisions to make. I think I'm going to start off by... I'm going to go back to the Jareth Deeps and the Wretch Warrens and the Crawlands and see if I can figure out where in the heck Nere is. So if I do, then I'll meet you there. Um, if I don't, then I'll meet you back here. We're going to find Sevelyn and Natalie. Um, I just want to chat with them, see if they have anything interesting and new to say, like Shima did. And then we need to track down Janelle. I think we might start with Shadow Tarkus, and then Janelle, and then see about our next actual quest, traveling to these Barraza woods. Yeah, 